task, I'm going to introduce you to some tools in Illustrator, and we are going to use the elements on this artboard here to create three different spoon designs. The first thing you need to do when you open your Illustrator file is to make sure that we have um, some color palettes, some swatches, brushes, some stroke and layers, all you need, those panels open. So if you can't see those, you can go to Window, and you can just make sure that they're selected and they should pop up here. So the first tool that we'll use is the selection tool and that's the black arrow. And when we select objects from our artboard, you'll notice a bounding box come up around them. That allows us to click and then move the object around. The white arrow next to that is the direct selection tool. So if I use that to click on an object, anchor points are gonna come up around and I can click on the anchor point and then move it. So that's going to alter the shape um, of the object. So we need to make sure we are selecting the direct selection tool when we're moving our objects. So the first thing that to do, we will recreate this spoon design. So we're going to select our spoon head and we are going to hold Alt and click and drag. And we're going to do that all the while holding Alt. And what that does is duplicate the object that we'd selected. Uh, we can hover over the bounding box and hold shift, click and drag to enlarge it or make it smaller. So that's how we can resize. Holding shift means that it is resized um, in proportion. Then we are going to um, grab the handle. So I'm gonna click on that and hold alt and bring it across to my other artboard. I will then select a uh, tooth now. So I could select this gold one, hold Alt, and then I'm going to need to resize that. So I can resize that by holding Shift and moving that anchor point. We can zoom in to the artboard as well. So I can zoom in by going Control Plus on a PC, and that's going to allow me a better view. Now we'll notice that this tooth, tooth um, is behind the handle. So we need to bring that in front and we can do that by right clicking and going to arrange, bring to front. I can also rotate the tooth um, into a different position if I wanted to, but for now we're gonna leave it upright just like that. Now we'll do these two bones that are crossing over the tooth. So let's find those, click onto your bone and then hold Alt and bring it across. I can zoom in now to place it. Obviously it's behind, so I'm going to right click arrange, bring it to the front. And to get mine like the example, I am going to hover over and just rotate it a bit. And I'm also going to resize it to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to click on the bounding box and hold shift while I'm resizing so it stays in proportion. That looks like an okay placement. So for the next one, I am going to um, just duplicate this bone because it's uh, the same for the other cross. So I will do that by going right click and I'm going to use this tool here, which is transform. And what I want to do is reflect the bone that is currently there to be the opposite. So what will come up is this bounding box and I want to reflect it on the vertical axis. So I'm pretty much going to flip the bone. And if I click preview, it's going to show me what it will look like if I do that, which is exactly how I'd like it. And I'm going to select copy. So that makes a copy of my original one and puts that in place. And I'm just going to select both of those objects to shift them over. So I can do that by selecting one bone, holding shift, selecting another bone. So they're both selected. And then I can just move my um, use my arrow keys to get them in centered. Okay, on this example, one bone is sitting underneath, so it's a little bit darker. So if we select one bone here, 
this color in um, their square, the fill square here, is telling us that that's the fill of the bone. If I was to put a stroke on it using this box here, we would see that it gets an outline. But we don't want to do that. So I am going to make sure that this little box, the fill box, is selected. And then I can come over to my swatches palette and double click. And this color picker will come up. So I'm going to just move this little color picker icon a little bit darker because that's um, I want my bone a little bit darker because it's sitting underneath and it's going to change the color. I would like that bone to sit underneath the lighter one so I can right click arrange. I won't go center back but I will say send backward and there we have our bones set up. Okay, let's zoom out. The next thing to do is put our skull head. So I'm going to select my skull head and hold Alt and bring it across and position that. I need to bring it to front, so I'm going to go right click, arrange, bring to front. And then I've got this great pattern here that I can put over the top. So again, I'll hold Alt and I'll position that on top of my skull. It's obviously too big, so to resize, I'm going to hold Shift and click the bounding box and shift it to the size that I would like. I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard just to put that into position. That looks okay. So I could leave it behind or I could right click, arrange, bring to front. So we have our spoon design here. What I would like you to do now is to create at least three different really unique spoon designs using all of um, these objects on your artboard. Once you have completed, you need to go File, Save As. Um, you can call it the um, Skull Spoon Challenge underscore your name and you're going to save that in your VizCom folder. Music